I'm Nakul Zaveri. I'm a partner at LeapFrog, and I also co-head the Climate Investing Strategy. Um, and we are a global impact investment manager focusing on emerging markets across financial services, healthcare, and climate solutions. And so I, I know LeapFrog has uh, uh, financial services and healthcare, and I know you've recently got into to climate. So, so what, what, what does LeapFrog bring to, to climate? I mean, a couple of things that, that excite us, right? Um, we are present across Africa and Asia particularly, and the emerging consumers that we have been serving for over 18 years in financial services followed by healthcare are also the same consumers that are going to be impacted significantly and disproportionately by the climate transition that we are all experiencing. Uh, at LeafRog, we understand emerging markets well, we understand value creation well, particularly in growth private equity asset segment, and we believe uh, it is an appropriate time for us to also address the climate solutions for the same emerging consumer set. And how do you think about those solutions? What are, what are we talking about here? There are a couple of things that we need to understand. Um, climate touches everything, but there are certain segments where investing in climate will yield two-pronged benefits. One is, of course, an impact, a positive outcome-based impact on the consumers that we are serving, but also creating value. There is an intergenerational value migration taking place in new industries delivering by a movement towards a low carbon future. And what we're excited about is essential services for this consumer set across energy, mobility, food and ag, and built environment, which are very, very critical for the emerging consumers. So the climate solutions are also just better for the consumers? But they're not only better, they are here, and they are transitioning at a pace that we haven't experienced before. Now there's a kind of an assumption uh, uh, that uh, uh, or, or there's been a problem with bringing enough investment into emerging markets in particular around climate solutions. There's been uh, a lack of capital from, you know, in the Paris kind of context. How do you think about bringing private capital to there? Great question. One of the things that we need to realize is that, as per one study, 50% of global GDP growth in the next three decades is expected to come from emerging markets, which means that a 6x increase in consumption by emerging consumers. If you do a one is to one, there'll be a success increase in emissions. Now, none of us want that. That means decarbonizing the West doesn't really matter if you don't try to solve emerging markets. The second point is we are seeing a transition from a green premium to a green discount. And that's exciting because the affordability quotient around green industries is becoming very relevant and therefore scale is increasing and therefore more dollars coming to work in emerging markets. And what does LeapFrog's own LPs and investors, or what are they looking for? They're looking for a double materiality outcome. We're looking for great returns, which allow us, us to scale businesses in our markets, and therefore allow us to deliver disproportionate positive outcomes. Not only in terms of mitigating and providing adaptation solutions, but also delivering superior risk-adjusted returns. Now, Andrew is always very keen on, 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 on pushing the scale uh, question and, 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 and higher ambition. So what, is, what are your scale ambitions? I mean, listen, we are all inspired by what Andrew's done over the last almost two decades. Uh, he started small, but with very, very large ambitions, and, and we are here. Uh, and thanks to Andrew, some of the others who have delivered uh, this alongside our partners, um, the likes of uh, Temasek, and some of the other investors who have supported us in delivering this impact strategy globally. Um, so what's, uh, what's most exciting? What, what, are your, what are the biggest opportunities for you? We are very excited um, right now around electrification uh, and, and the transition that's happening in the mobility segment. We have recently released our report focusing on a $1.3 trillion uh, opportunity set in Emerging Asia around transportation. This is the kind of research-led investing that excites us to create scale. And this is not just uh, EVs to, uh, for passenger cars, this is uh, three-wheelers and farm vehicles. And, uh, to, uh, you made a very autos. interesting point. Electrification in the West happens top-down, which is four-wheelers and then below. Uh, electrification in emerging markets is bottom-up, that is two-wheelers and three-wheelers. And that is what we are for, uh, after. I mean, we are a specialist thematic emerging market investor. Um, which deeply understand where value sits in this climate transition 
but also cognizant of the fact that it cannot happen without addressing the low-income emerging consumers' paths to prosperity. And that confluence for us is what drives our investing strategies.